Hello, my beautiful people. Happy Friday. Guinevere and Stacio here with you live on a Friday evening. So happy to see you guys. If you hop on, please say hi. Wave, say hello. If this is the first time that you are joining a live with me, let me know it's your first time. If you've been here before on one of my lives, say hey. We besties, we are besties. So I was doing some work tonight for my program that is starting called Wealth Embodied, an eight week program that is gonna be amazing. And I'm really excited for it, but I was going back in my timeline to review where I was. And so I'm writing tonight, I'm just writing down. And I didn't even have to go back that far because here's what happened to me the other night. I was at the gym, uh, the gymnastics gym, watching my daughters practice. And I'm there for three hours. <laughs> so I usually bring my laptop and I bring some work to do and, and try to get some work done, but it's usually super loud in there and you know, not a lot usually happens, but This evening, which is just two nights, no, last night, last night, I sat down at a table and another woman asked if she could sit with me, which happens all the time because there's limited space up there. And she sat down and we just started talking. And we started talking about what she does. I started talking about, uh, she asked me what I do. And we had a great conversation. It was wonderful. Her kid's going to be in my daughter's class and so we made connections. It was awesome. And then she leaves and a husband, a husband, a, a dad <laughs> comes in and her daughter is starting practice and I'm still there with my children. And he's like, is anybody sitting at the seat? Can I sit at this table? And I was like, oh yeah, please, please sit at this table. And we start talking. And we start talking about what he does. He asks me what I do and I talk about my wealth coach talk about like what that means and, and what I get to do. And I didn't think about this then. I only thought about this now as I was reflecting on how far I've come with my money journey <laughs> and my finances and wealth. And we started getting into his kids go to private school, we're talking about that, we're talking about the cost of gymnastics, not complaining, just talking about what we spend money on and what's important to us what we value, and then we started talking about investments. And we talked about his friend who took $9,600 and invested in crypto and lost it all in a day. We talked about long-term investing, we talked about mutual funds, we talked about the app Robinhood, we talked about a lot of different things that two years ago, three years ago, if you had put me in the same situation, I would have been embarrassed because I wouldn't have known what he was talking about. I probably would have tried to fudge my way through that conversation because I would have felt like I'm an adult. I should know what these terms mean. I should know what investing is. I should know how to do it, but I don't. And all I wanted to feel was knowledgeable about setting myself up for the future. But a couple inches ago, I wasn't sure. And I would have been so embarrassed <laughs> having this conversation with this other adult sitting across the table from me. But this time, it got to be different. This time, I could actually conversate with him about investing and about long term investing and short term investing and crypto and what we thought about crypto and his kids 14 so he was talking about getting his his um custodial account set up and i could have a conversation with this dad about investing when not too long ago i wouldn't have been able to and i would have been so embarrassed and tried to shove the conversation elsewhere or into 
something else so that I didn't have to feel like I didn't know what I was talking about because I wouldn't have known what I was talking about. And it hit me today when I was going back in my journaling. You know, what, where I wanted to be. And for years, I wanted to, I, I didn't understand how money came in and money went out. So fast. And I didn't understand how people had savings accounts. And I didn't understand my 401k or how much was coming out of my paycheck or where it was even going when it left my paycheck. I didn't understand those things. And even though I knew I didn't understand them, I didn't put any effort to trying to understand them. Um, and not that long ago, a couple of years ago, I put my foot down and I was like, you know what, this is it. I am an adult. I desire to pay cash for Christmas and not pay on a credit card. I desire to know where my money is going. I desire to feel really confident when I talk about finances. And if someone were to bring up investments, I know where my money is invested in. I know that I've set myself up for the future. And I feel good about that. It sounds so simple because it it, it, it was, but if it's so simple, then why did it take so many years for me to flip a switch and go, okay, now's the time? Because up until that point, there were times in my past where I made good money. In fact, I was making really good money and should have had extra, but was living paycheck to paycheck. And there have been years where money came in and money went out just the same. I literally did not understand how people had money in their savings accounts if they had a kid in daycare. I did not understand. And last night's conversation about investments, it wasn't that involved, but that's the thing, is that it doesn't even have to be. Investing actually isn't hard. <laughs> Duh, Gwen should have knocked me on the head with this years ago. Investing isn't hard. But in our minds, we make up that it's so hard that we won't understand it. Or we make up the story that, like, our husbands will take care of it or our spouse will take care of it. Or we say, you know what, like, I think my money's coming out of my paycheck and going into a 401k. If I work, I'll be all set, and that's not usually the truth. And so I had this revelation tonight about how it doesn't have to be hard, and how it just takes you wanting to change your present and therefore your even if you have stories or beliefs or experiences that prove otherwise, right? Like I could have stories where, or I did have stories where I had paid off debt and then racked it back up again. So I therefore had the story that I wasn't good with money. I had stories that I had a Vanguard account, but never put money in it. I had that since college. And I had this story that I wasn't going to play, and I didn't know what I was doing, and so I didn't touch it. I didn't believe that I could. But I wonder, I I wonder, I wrote down this question today, so I was like, mind blown. I wonder what would happen if you decided 
that right now, today, right here, if you're on live right now, in this moment, if you decided that today was the lowest that you would ever be, at the lowest point, the lowest frequency, lowest knowledge with money, whatever that means to you, if you decided that today was your lowest point, and from here on out, it was only up. Regardless of your old stories or evidence that proves you wrong, how good can life get? So if you're like me, and you're like, I've been living paycheck to paycheck for years. Like, I don't understand why this is happening. Why can't I make any more money? Why is money hard to make? Why is investing confusing? If you're like me, thinking those thoughts, it wasn't that long ago that I just decided that I was done not being knowledgeable about those things. And I said, right here, right now is the lowest I will ever be in my money knowledge. I just decided that. And last night, this come full circle moment was like, yeah, it might seem small to you that I could sit across the table and talk to this guy about investments. That was huge for me. And it allowed us to pay cash for Christmas. It allowed us to pay attention to and look into investing and start to know where our money was going. Like instead of money just coming in and then flowing out exactly the same, instead of me being like, here's what would happen. Money would come in, the paper would come in, right? And I would be like, quick, we better go do something. We have money in the bank account. We better go do something and spend, spend it before it goes away. And going away was actually going to pay bills. And then it would get to the end of the month and we would be cutting it really close with bills. Like, instead of doing that for the rest of my life, I made a decision that no more, actually. No more. So what if you decide today that today is the lowest point that you will ever be in your life with money knowledge? Wherever you decide you want that to make sense for you, and from here on forward, it's only up. Regardless of evidence that may have proved you wrong in the past, or evidence that you have allowed to prove you wrong in the past, what if you made that decision today? And if you make that decision today, how good can your life get? Imagine, if you will, instead of you sitting around and telling the story that life is hard, that making money is hard, that things happen to you, that life sucks, and you just have to fight for every ounce, instead of telling that story, what if you chose to tell the opposite story of I know my highest freedom is possible. I command my life. I create freedom. Why struggle, tell the story of struggle when you can tell the story of success and what your life is? Right? But here's the thing. If you think about, if you're an adult, you're watching this, <laughs> which you probably are, um, we get to leave things to our children, if you have children. We get to leave things to our children. And and it's not just money. Money is, sure, yeah, we do get to leave money to our children, right? But we also get to leave them beliefs and a lifestyle and confidence. And, and I'm talking about confidence in us that they adopt because you were confident. How about the outlook on life, that life is awesome, you make life happen, you were designed for a reason, you are designed for greatness, and you command your own life. You get to also leave them that if you step into that now. So, this full, full circle moment for me of being able to sit across the table with a dad at gymnastic practice and actually understand what he was talking about when he started talking about investments was like, that, that was powerful and important 
and it made me realize that I did take charge of my life, that I do, I am in command of where my life is going, and I know that my future is solid. And I'm also leaving this story to my children that they can do the same thing and feel comfortable knowing what they're creating. That money doesn't have to just come in and then go out to bills, and you have to wonder where it goes. No, you get to command your money. And I want that for you. I want you to know where your money is going. I want you to have a 401k and know exactly what your dollars are being invested in at work. And then I want you to have your own investments and for you to know how you're setting yourself up for the future so that you can live. I want you to know what it feels like to have a savings account. I did not have a savings account for a long time because we lived paycheck to paycheck because I made good money but didn't know how to manage it. I want you to know how to command your money. <laughs> And this usually, like the work that it takes for us to get there, is one knowledge which everyone can learn. Everyone can learn just knowledge, basics, right? But also to embodiment. And this means going back in your past and pulling apart the timeline that you have where somewhere in your life you didn't feel safe or didn't feel worthy. Going into your timeline and, and healing the parts of your story that are affecting how you show up now with money. It's a practice of activation and it's a practice of embodiment and I want it for you so badly because when we rise, we show other women what's possible. I step into this for me first, and so that's what you have to do for you, is you have to step into this for you first, but then you also step into it for the other women and children and generations to come in your life because of the magnitude of power you command for your own life, that you deserve because you were born deserving her. I want this for you so badly. And so I think the question that you can ask yourself tonight is, what if you decided that right now is the most to have be? And what if instead of telling the story that life is hard or making money is hard or learning investments is hard, you tell the story of, I know my highest freedom is possible. I command my life. What? These teeny tiny steps we take in life lead to really big things and shifts in our lives. I want you to know that you are here, where you are right now, for a reason. And you're being called to level up. So if you hear the call, know that it's yours. Don't hesitate. Take it. I love you guys. Happy Friday. Come say hi. Talk to you later.